Hello, you're watching Access. My name's Dave and I'm joined today by Rob. Hi, Dave. Hi, Rob. And this is five reasons you should be excited about Assassin's Creed Syndicate, the new Assassin's Creed that's just been announced. I am very excited about this. And you don't even know the five reasons yet? I don't, but I'm guessing the first reason is that it's set in Victorian London. Yes, you're right, Rob. Which is important because for ages, Assassin's Creed fans, myself included, have been saying it would be amazing to set an Assassin's Creed game in Victorian London and we thought three and Unity and would be would possibly be set in Victorian London and, and they weren't and now Syndicate is set in Victorian London and we've all been vindicated because it looks brilliant the yeah, aesthetics it, of the place look fantastic it looks fantastic it's full of pubs and cockney pubs, rhyming slang exactly what Victorian era London was like little pubs and scaffolding exactly it's scaffolding I guess it's quite an exciting time where there's sort of an industrial revolution going and on top and top hats top hats I love a good top hat um, being in London Rob already confirmed for Victorian London in Assassin's Creed Syndicate, mm-hmm. uh, that you'll be able to climb around Charing Cross, cool. St Paul's Cathedral, I the would Palace expect no of less. Westminster, Rob. The Palace of Westminster, you can climb up Big, Big Ben. That's cool. And You'd expect to be able to do that when you're in Assassin's Creed. That's good. Buckingham Palace as well. I'm really excited about it now. So, uh, being Victorian London, does that mean that you know Jack the Ripper's going to be in it? And- no, like in that. fact, well, it was it was thought previously because uh, some people thought that this one might be Victorian London. It was thought previously that it would be around that era, but it's actually about twenty years earlier than that. Okay, it's set in eighteen sixty eight, right? Um, which is earlier than the Jack the Ripper uh, era, and I can tell you that it's been confirmed that both Charles Dickens and Charles Darwin are in the game the two very best Charleses they're going to be your allies in the game that's cool like Leonardo da Vinci was in Assassin's Creed 2 and that trilogy yeah. now we've got Darwin Darwin that's great and I'm really hoping that in some way you can inform one of uh, Dickens' stories you know I don't that know that would how. be a cool twist yeah okay reason number two Rob which I don't think you'll be expecting is that you play as not one but two assassins oh that's interesting yeah these two here this pair who are a brother and sister called Jacob and Evie Fry okay um, and how does that work then do you get to choose who you play at the beginning or can you swap between them or? well it's a it's it's a little unclear at this time but as I understand it you can switch between either just in open open gameplay okay just you know climbing around the city and be who you, who you like but the story missions will have specific um, you right. know you'll be one or the so other you've got to be one or the other during specifically story because because of how the story plays out I suppose so um, I think that's quite cool and that, that might make for some quite interesting scenarios I don't know whether they play differently you know whether they have different styles or their um, costumes are great though aren't they different kind of you know weapons costumes. and gadgets but um yeah, I, I think it's going to be pretty interesting. They, they're, they're part of a gang called the Rooks, I think. Um, and gang warfare looks like it's going to be a big part of, of the game. From the gameplay they've released so far, it looks like it's kind of like you know you're the Rooks. You're trying to take over London, your gang against all the other gangs. All, all the I boroughs bet, have I bet gangs. The other them. gangs are like Templars. It'll eventually be assassins versus Templars because it always is. Do you reckon? Yeah. He's Definitely. called it right here. Look at those smokes effects. Well, this is number three now. Smokes effects. Number three. Uh, in this game, there are trains that you can climb you can and ride. ride. And that's cool. There are horse-drawn horse carriages, carts. which you can actually... Hijack, by the looks hijack. of things. Hijack. I think you can race them. You can also hide inside them. So they're sort of like ways of getting around. I'll just stop you just to look at this. Look at the sun coming down this street there. I know. The cobbles. They are. There's going to be, because it's London, you know it's going to rain loads. There's going to be lovely rain effects. It's going to look slick and wonderful. Lovely. Look at the puddles there. They look gorgeous. Um, And there's also steam boats. So this is the steam age. So we've got steam trains and steam boats. You can get around uh, London. I love the whole kind of... By steamboat. Cranky, mechanical look to Victorian London. It looks so evocative and characterful. I can't wait to just wander around in this world. Exactly, and wreak havoc in it by the looks of things. Yeah, absolutely. It's um, I think the carriages, you know, are gonna really change the way the game plays. It's a lot sort of a faster way of getting around, and they're they're almost like weapons. Yeah, we've never had really you know. vehicles. We've had boats, gondolas in uh, Assassin's Creed Two in Venice, but we've never really had kind of had vehicles to get around the streets in. No, that you you've had your horse, but it's not quite the same. Doesn't no. work the same way. And like I said, you can hide in uh, your carriage, so it's almost like a mobile. Hiding sort spot. of layer. Um, let's move on to number four now, which is sort of just 
weapons, gadgets, new ways to kill people. I love so me some gadgets. What the, are the new the, gadgets? The, the in first Syndicate? Assassin's Gauntlet gadget is this rope launcher. So, <laughs> you mean like a grappling hook, basically? Pretty much, but it is officially called the rope launcher. Okay. Um, so obviously this can get you to the top of buildings fast. I don't know how far yet it's going to take. I mean, there's no sort of seeming limit to it. Followed by uh, its secondary function, which is a zip line. It's a mobile oh, zip line. nice. Which you so can you, use you no longer effect. have to find specific spots on rooftops to swing across now. Exactly. It's and gonna you can make, do this. Oh, it's going to make doing that a lot more fun. Just setting up, you know, a little sort of mobile And also I imagine field. like quite often in Assassin's Creed games when you're, you're trying desperately to escape from people and before you'll have been you know zipping around the rooftops really nice but when you're under pressure you for some reason you just can't find like a, a yeah, specific you can spot never to find cross and now you can actually do it yourself but well, that's cool you can see here Rob it's just fired a hallucinogenic dart into obviously can you fire it into people but if you fire it into like a fire pit like that it will spread it around. It spreads, so it gives like a sort of um, area of effect. And also we saw, saw um, dropping a whole load of barrels that were suspended above the street onto someone's head. So that that is new, like environmental takedowns. Not envir- like not contextual, but, you know, using, setting up traps and using the world around you to uh, dispatch your enemies is a new feature. That is exciting. Yeah. This is the last point, which is this game, it has been announced, is single player only. That is that's a big decision. They're not going to make multiplayer. There's not going to be the option of co-op, despite there being you know two playable characters. Okay. And they've said that it's going to be single player only, and the reason being just so they can concentrate on making the single player as good as it can be. Do you know what, Dave? I think I am pleased. I personally about that. I'm very happy about that because. You know, I didn't play too much of the multiplayer. I found it quite fun, like going around killing other people online. But the heart of Assassin's Creed is he's this. Yeah. He's wandering around these amazing cities. And if they're going to, you know, put more time and resources into making that as good as it can be, then I think that is a good thing. Exactly. I think I think everyone enjoyed the multiplayer in Assassin's Creed, but it was never. It's not the core experience, is it? You want to have all. You know, want to be wandering around the amazing cities that they've built. And enjoying the sort of quite deep historical story. Yeah. Um, Learning things. Exactly. And the, the multiplayer was was assassinating was, men from hay bales. I'm glad that's still in there. Yeah. And, and in fact, they've said that in doing, you know, in in focusing on the single player, they've managed to make uh, the map, the London map, 30 percent bigger than Paris was in Unity. That is impressive. So I Paris mean, was great in Unity. It was. Yeah. And it's so detailed. And you can see. Uh, from this gameplay how incredible London's looking and it's 30% bigger that's so much Assassin's Creed to sink your teeth into I know I'm really looking forward to it well there you are there's five reasons you should be excited about Assassin's Creed Syndicate please like this video if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe because I'm sure we'll have much more coming up on this game very soon